Hey everyone, my name is Trishan. For a long time, I have been waiting to build the Lay Robot SO101 arms, and here I have all the components to make them. So today we'll be making just the follower arm, and I have been using the Bamboo Carbon X1 printer, and the filament I used for building the follower arm is the PETG carbon fiber, and the motors I'll be using is from the FeeTech. These motors are the 30 kg STS3215. So here we go. So that was unfortunate, apparently my phone battery died and I was not able to capture the entire video for you guys, but not an issue, we have our leader arm so I will try to make sure to capture the entire build in that, but I just wanted to show you the follower arm so it's completely built. There are a few things, I still haven't received my control board which goes here and the power supply. No worries, but in the meantime, let's get started with the follower arm. My plan here is to remove this extra support from all the parts and clean them up a bit because I think while I was building the follower arm, I had that issue because it became very messy. I was trying to do everything together. So let's get started.
So now we have cleaned all of our 3D printed parts and here I have three different gear reduction ratio based FeeTech motors. So make sure for the follower arm, all of them have the same gear reduction ratio, but particularly for the leader arm, there are three different configurations so that when you try to tally off one robot with the another, there is a correct correlation between the two. So I will drop the specifications in the GitHub repo and the top assembly guide. Just follow that. Let's get started. Finally, both the SO arm leader and follower are ready. I believe having a mallet really helps. I think I might have to go back and see if all the motors are perfectly fit in the follower, but I am pretty confident about the leader. Then there was some warp here because of which it's not completely going in. So the second thing I might have to trim off some material with a Dremel or some rotary tool. Yeah, here it is. Thank you for watching.